What's up guys welcome back to our road to dark aether series on our last episode our top comment was not a weapon suggestion so for this episode i want you guys to leave your suggestions right away that way our next top comment is a gun that you guys suggest but since there was no suggestion i'm picking for myself and since we're just one gun away from plague diamond pistols today we're gonna be getting the diamati gold viper now this is my camo progress for it so far i have everything done except i need 400 more criticals and just about like 100 more kills while it's pack a punch so not too bad didn't take too long everything else is done you can see we are one pistol away from plague diamond but after today we're gonna have five classes towards dark aether i i know that there is some sort of bug or glitch or whatever where you get dark aether earlier than you should i don't know if it happens after five classes or six classes i just know you get it earlier than nine so today we might actually be getting dark aether but i could be wrong anyways we're gonna be using toxic growth again because this is just the field of grave i'm having the most fun with we might switch it out if uh you know we start to struggle or whatever but i think toxic growth is pretty good and since we played firebase last time we're gonna go on die machine today and let's see if we can go ahead and get this gold viper coming on in twins taking the day off get our uber into die machine here now we just gotta focus on these crits and we should be golden i think i'm gonna stay in this first room till about round eight then we can go open all the doors get pack a punch lower the mic a bit and then we should be good now today i am wearing my wait where is it now today i am wearing my little lion's pull over because the draft is tomorrow or it's you know the day that i upload this i usually record these the night before but the nfl draft is tomorrow uh lions have a, a pretty decent pick i think it's either seven or eight i don't know i've been kind of zoned out from football for the last year because lions are <laughs> haven't really been good in a long time right now we're in a rebuild they've been in a rebuild my whole life for the most part so hopefully you know we get some heaters during this draft but can't get the expectations too high they, they always they always crush them down but uh, it's it's exciting it's the only football thing that's going to be going on for a while plenty plenty to see draft nights always it's either really really boring and just a bunch of picks that everyone was guessing or it could be like some blockbuster trades some crazy stuff happening i don't know it's kind of like the only big event happening but anyways i've been having a lot of fun playing zombies and even like warzone for that matter but not on verdansk i cannot stand verdansk like unless i have a full squad and none of us really care like what's going on like we're all just messing around and playing like i i, I cannot have fun on verdansk but i'm rebirth rebirth is a different story i have so much fun on rebirth the game's so much faster paced it feels like you're not gonna get screwed over by somebody using like an op gun i don't know i i like it a lot and then i was trying to do the the save adler or find adler challenges i even recorded some i don't know if i'll ever upload it because it <laughs> it was just bad but like i hopped on verdansk i tried to do all the save adler challenges i ended up doing one of those missions where you pick up like the adler contract and you know you have to go and complete it and everything but apparently it's like first come first serve for those there's only one at each location and they don't respawn like, like that's it you don't get it you're screwed like start a new game so first game i got one but then i couldn't use my map i couldn't get any of the other contracts and then it, it was just boring old verdant solos so i don't know maybe I'll, maybe i'll start uploading some rebirth because i actually enjoy that but and i think i already have all the adler challenges done for cold war so i don't know if i i already have the operator skin or not but i thought it'd be a good idea to go on to on to war zone and try to get that adler skin but it was not working out but besides that uh i finally you know it's it's been about like just barely over a year like a year in a day or two since i uploaded my since i uploaded my launcher guide for modern warfare and that's what really kick-started this channel so today i put out you know i put in a lot of work and i put out the, the cold war complete launcher guide you know a after like weeks of like trying to edit like on the side and still keep up with like daily uploads because those videos take so much more like editing and like footage and you know just a lot more work and preparation than you know, just these gameplay like commentary videos do so it was, I mean, it, it was kind of exhausting, but at the same time, it's good to like brush up on, you know, my editing chops, get that all out there. So I think I want to start bringing like guide type videos back, but combine it with more of the, like the, the gameplay commentary centered type videos. Like instead of having these super hyper edited videos where I'm going over every and anything, I go over mostly the basic stuff that'll help people out. And then I go into game and then I see how it works firsthand. I think that would be a, like a fun way to explore uh, guides coming in the future. 
And that way we can kind of like blend the two audiences together of people that just watch the guides and people that, you know, stick around and watch like the zombie stuff. They watch the multiplayer stuff. I think it'll be fun. But, you know, in using the Diamati and like getting it all leveled up and everything, all the camos, like close enough for me to even record a video with it. I've been having a lot of fun with it. This thing kind of shreds. I don't know how it does really pass round 30. I think that's the highest round I've been with it, but it's it's pretty good. It's like, I don't know. I feel like after we started, we started playing zombies using like snipers and launchers and like shotguns and things like that. And the shotguns are good. And you know, some of the snipers are good and the launchers are easy. There's just something about going from some sort of single fire or slow shooting weapons to like fully automatic burst pistol that just makes zombies so much more fun. Like I'm loving zombies. If they add a new map to this, I don't know if I'll ever get off of it. But we got 16k now, so let's go ahead and start working towards getting the power on and getting this thing pack a punch because we also need pack a punch kills. And for the longest time, I thought those bombs would hurt you, but you can literally just let them blow up in your face and it does nothing. Get our loose change there. Now, this is the map that I have like the worst luck on. I'll either you know, get down for something stupid or an Easter egg will glitch out on me or I don't know. It, every time we're on this map, something bad happens. So I'm hoping we can finally break the streak here and I'm not jinxing it by talking about it. But I played on this a little bit just to get some camos for the Diamati and it seemed to be going fine. So hopefully we can carry that over to this game. I feel like I'm way more knowledgeable about zombies than I was. You know, like every time I come back here, I feel like I'm, I'm more knowledgeable than I was the last time. All right, I think the first thing we're going to do is the Easter egg so we can get our jug. I was waiting last time, like once I had enough money to buy perks and everything, but I don't want to risk it glitching out again or if it even was a glitch. People were saying like, oh, you can't do it past like round 10 or something. Which I don't think it's true. It could be. And all the people are saying is like, oh, you have to do it like the same round you turn the power on, which I know for sure isn't true. But either way, we're going to get it this time. I believe. Uh oh, I'm out of ammo. Who wants the fist? Where's ammo on this map? Oh, here it is. Just gotta spend money on ammo. Oh, I could have probably just took the anomaly and broke some crystals for some ammo. But we're learning. Okay, where is the pack a punch part? I have like PTSD from me just like uh, messing around and trying to break all the little crystals, thinking I had all the time in the world, and then not being able to get pack a punch and then going down like immediately after that. So I'll only break the crystals in this little area. Oh, we got dead shot from that. Let's go. Any of those parts? Okay. Hounds, you guys need to go away. You guys are distracting me from my mission. I still, I will never get over how nice the Dark Aether looks. Probably one of the coolest things in a COD game, like ever. Coolest looking. I feel like since, like, I, since walking past that wall by there, I feel like ever since like loadouts have been added to zombies, wall buys like don't really mean too much anymore. Like I'm sure if you're working on a specific weapon that's on the wall there and you just want to start with a higher rarity, like that's that's a, a good reason to use it. But besides that, like you basically spawn in with that whatever gun you want. <laughs> and then if you want a different one, you hit the box to get the higher rarity and just, you know, kind of gamble. Because it the box is usually way, way, way cheaper than buying a gun off the wall. Like that's 4k right there i could hit the box for 950 and like roll the dice and see if i get it but now that we got the power on i'm gonna get my loose change from here before i forget it i'm gonna go on a loose change hunt and now let's go ahead and isn't there a perk machine over here there is i knew it here we go oh it just turned foggy all of a sudden so let's go down here and let's go ahead and do the easter egg bop that one's there this time boop that one worked that one works. That one works. And that one works. It had to have been something bugged out that last time. I feel like every time we play zombies, there's a new bug we discover. But easy XP. Stab him a few times for good luck. While we have 10K and a little bit of time on our hands, we can go up here. I'll break a few crystals. We got lucky last time. And we can get lucky again. Oh, a little bit of parts. We'll take that. Let's check out the wonder jizz. I'll get quick revive and hmm. decisions, decisions. Jug. It, it it put a timer on me. I have I have to pick up something. Goodbye, jellyfish. And what is our bonus weapon? Really a sigma? Oh, I'm an idiot. 
I forgot the whole reason to do it. It was free jug. Well, all right. Well, I guess I'll, I'll train down here since it's all flat ground. Get headshots pretty easy. I'm going to put this up. And then just slaughter them. Oh, the daddy's here. Here, get some more. He just tried to bitch slap me. So let's lay into him. Let's try to get him to go through the vines here as much as possible. Oh, he's pissed. And since the round doesn't end when this guy dies, let's just leave this last one until we can finish him off. There we go. And we're chilling. I still can't believe I did that. Oh, I gotta remember that the Easter egg is Jug. I know that for Firebase. I, why did I think it would be any different here? Because I could have got like stamina up or speed cola and have four perks right now. But no, instead I have three perks and less brain cells than I did before. How many crits were we away? Like 400 or something? So we're not too far off. Oh, there's armor. Look at that. Oh, I said I was going to train down here and then I left it. See, I have like peanut brain. We just have our little choke point over here. We're ever in a pickle, we just run through there. Might be zombies on the other side and we might get ourselves killed. But you know, you live and you learn. Even if you knew the lesson before you died. I still can't believe we pulled a Sigma from it. That was just insult to injury. We were already down and it kicked us. Also, what is this menacing looking area over here? Looks like Stranger Things over there. And that looks like Stranger Things the other side. I just feel so good. There we go. There's our criticals. Or was that the Pack-a-Punch? I don't even know anymore. It feels so nice to just sit here and burst and destroy all these zombies. Makes such a satisfying sound too. And we don't have any assault waves to worry about here. Let's get Pack-a-Punch too, just for the aesthetic. There we go. Now I know Deadwire helps with the Megatons, but I think it takes away from our crits and that's really all we need here. So we'll keep it for now. We don't have enough to upgrade it yet. And it's a puppy round. Come on, Vominos. Everybody, let's go. All right, round 15. Give it up for round 15. I can't be safe. Our, me our Megaton friend's here, and he's fucking angry. Why is he running so fast? We kind of got ourselves in a little bit of a pickle here. Let's stun these guys. There are easy crits. Dude, zombies gotta be really good for aim training. I feel like I'm just snapping domes. Go ahead, split. And I'll run this way. Come and get me. Oh shit, he almost... <laughs> he almost swung on me. Oh yeah. Go to sleep. Oh, you broke my fern. Asshole. I put that fern in the worst spot because apparently they just... walk right around it. Oh, an insta-kill. This thing's already shredding, but insta-kill just makes it ten times better. Yeah, these guys don't stand a chance. The only time it's an issue is when there's a, a, a Megaton. And then that still is pretty easy to deal with at this stage. But at least there's no Dr. Peck here. To be a condescending asshole. And we got, I think we're just 400 away. 440 away. If all we needed was 400, I can't even remember. Once we get into these games, I forget everything I said before. I have like, cod dementia. Hey. Oh, there we go. Diamond. Easy. I'm going to tell him to stop breaking down my window. We got Plague Diamond on the pistols now. I do not think it gave us Dark Aether. So maybe it's six classes or it could be like seven. But I know for sure you don't have to get nine. Where's the anomaly at? I want to go into the Dark Aether with this pack three because it, it, it matches perfectly. It just looks beautiful. Actually, for this last round while we're waiting, let's work on another weapon. Okay, well, we just got diamond pistols, so this isn't going to help. Head on into the Aether. Look how fucking beautiful this is. It matches so well. Get off me. Uh-uh, you're not hitting me. Jeez. They're playing no games here. None. Ow, bitch. That hurt. Why don't you go ahead and split? Oh, the round's over die now just look how nice this gun looks with this background like tell me this isn't like beautiful try try to tell me this isn't beautiful look at this aren't we supposed to have an x fill round right now or can we not do that since we're in the eighth or did i just screw myself how do i leave i want to go home okay that's how you go home you just say you want to leave hey 
Okay, speed cola. We got it right before it ended. Nice. Yeah, our exfil's not here. So I guess we have to wait a few more rounds. Oh, there it is. Never mind. See, all you gotta do is bitch and complain and it shows up. Let's get out of here. I'll buy a chopper gunner. Look at all the parts that spawn when you do that. All the zombies just turn into salvage. Oh, shit. Okay, this is the guy I need to kill. Oh, fuck me, dude. Let me in. They're not gonna let me into the exfil site. I gotta go around. All right, now we've made it to the exfil site. I'll put down a few ferns. We got 40 enemies to kill in 40 seconds. Okay, we, we split the Megaton. We need to take out these guys. So I don't know if a chopper gunner will even see them or do damage to them. Fifteen seconds, oh no. Lead him towards it. Only three guys left. Who's the last one? Oh come on, land. Buzzer beater, let me in, let me in. Go, go, let me in. Oh, we made it! Last second, let's go. Oh I don't I got the chopper gunner just in case, but I want to see if I could do it without it, and we did it, just barely. One second to spare. Oh my Lanta. All right, let's go take a look at it. So there's Gold Viper, still gross. Like Diamond, decent. And we're one step closer to Dark Aether. I think if we just do ARs and SMGs, it should be done. I think it might be seven classes instead of nine. Like it might be lying to us. So let's see. Really quick, I'm going to go through what weapons I have done. I have the Krieg done. I think that's it for assault rifles. SMGs, I'm close on the Bullfrog, I think. That might be it. I have the M16 done. I don't have the AUG, the DMR, or the Type 63 done. I still don't even have the Type 63 fully leveled. I have the Stoner done. The first three snipers, I don't have the ZRG or the Swiss, but I would prefer to go for a weapon that I don't have the whole class done for yet. Like I don't have diamond for. Shotguns are done. Besides, the street sweeper launchers are done. We did melee and special, but we do have DLC guns that we will do after we get Dark Aether or maybe on streams. So basically, if you guys want to be nice, we could do... Wait, do we have the M60 done? Oh, we do. Okay. So if you guys want to be nice, we could do the RPD and get another Plague Diamond. Or we could do a few tactical rifles, like 18 SMGs or 18 assault rifles. So the choice is yours. Make sure you leave a comment on what weapon you want to see me do next. I think instead of top comment next time, we're just going to go off of the most liked one. It doesn't have to be the most liked comment out of them all. That's what I've been doing. And I think we should change that. But anyways, uh, if you like this video and you want to see more, leave a like on it. You didn't, you don't dislike. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. We're on the road to 100k. And yeah, that's it for me. I'll see you guys next time. Later.